Hello Farmers, welcome back to Griffin, Indiana. Making our way down to the store in our Dudes Power Series 9. We bought a spreader last episode near the end, but the one thing I need to do while I'm down here, waiting for you guys to show one up, we're going to come in here and go to accessories, or is it miscellaneous? Miscellaneous, uh, we need the scout, and we are going to lease it today. I'm going to do factory uh, used. That way the leasing fee comes down a little bit. Let's go ahead and lease that. We got one field to do. And do I want to get that meter or not? Hmm, it's 5,000. I was thinking about uh, this little dookie right here. I don't think I need it just yet. Let's come over here and grab. Actually, I want to put that on the front so we can put our spreader on the back. And we're going to fill up our spreader with some lime because I'm pretty sure after I send these soil samples in I'm gonna require some lime here don't tip it over that's close enough I do have manual attach on here and I don't think there's a PTO shaft shouldn't be no that's good and let's go ahead and raise that up I did have a quick look there should be a lime station like right in front of me after I turn around somewhere I saw the map See if we can go ahead and find it. But we're going to go on up and do some soil sampling of the field that we have. See what it's going to require. Obviously, it's going to need some lime and fertilizer. Uh, take out the PTO shaft. Nope. Nope. Hoses. Thank you. Everything all set. There we go. I think I see the lime station right there. I'll open up the cover here in a second and we'll top this thing off with a whole bunch of lime. Probably going to go through a lot of it. Um, probably should back into that. I don't want to be parking on the railroad tracks. I'm not sure if there's a train that actually goes around or not. I think those tracks are just there. I don't think there's actually a train on the map. But I don't want to find out the, the, the fun way, which means I don't think I had to back up to it. I thought there was going to be a spout here. I'm not sure if this is actually it, but I'm just guessing it is. Let's go ahead and do this. And lime. There we go. Lime station. How much is it going to cost me? I have no idea. So I'm going to kind of look on the map trying to figure out what um, what I need to do and how I want to do it. And I still don't know the steps I need to do. But I know what we're going to do today. Obviously, soil sampling our field. Uh, taking care of the lime. And maybe the fertilizer if I get to it. Uh, I have enough money to put down a silo bunker. And the silo bunker I'm looking for us to put down is going to cost me about 40 grand. And it will hold up to 900,000 liters. Which should be enough especially at the start later on after we get more and more cows if i need that much more feed then uh we'll pop in another one just uh 34 10 i can i can get down with that can we can we close that please thank you very much so a fertilizing station seed station i may go ahead and put that down on our property somewhere i was looking at contracts to do today so we can gain some cash uh, it's all cultivating jobs and really they're not paying that much and especially I would have to lease the items because well I don't have a cultivator so I don't know if that subsoiler I have would count as a cultivator when doing jobs uh, I, I was I don't know if I mentioned last episode but that's a subsoiler like we do a plowing job you cannot well you can use a sub well no you can't use a subsoiler to plow as a, a daily job or contract it doesn't recognize that as a plow. That's a subsoiler. So you actually have to use a plow. I'm not sure if a subsoiler will actually count as a cultivator for a cultivating job. Uh, but that, if I would do it, if I was going to do a cultivating job on some of these fields, I wouldn't want to use our subsoiler because it's not that uh, wide enough for me. But I was looking at the farmland around here that have fields on it because, yeah, we're going to need a lot of fields. Because a lot of our chaff is going to come from corn in the future. Uh, the first year or so, maybe the grass field here. The reason why I don't want to use the grass field in the future for silage is because I need hay to make TMR. So, I can't use the, the grass to make hay and silage all together over here. Plus, a lot of our stuff is actually going to be over here. Our silo, bunker silo is going to be right over here. Yeah, we're going to be taking up a lot of space. Uh, I may do some greenhouses. And somebody said I probably should buy the BGA because in the future I'm going to want to sell our slurry and manure. Um, not stay detached, please. Did you think it's attached now? There we go. 
Uh, yeah, so in the future, uh, that's going to be our fertilizer, basically. Let me go ahead and get the map up. Not that map, but that map. So I can see roughly the area that we need to cover. Uh, let's get on this. I need to unfold the soil sampling machine. Did it unfold or not? Seems like my buttons are a little delayed this evening, like I am. I feel like I'm a little delayed. All right, so now we can see the green on the screen. The green circle. I don't think it really matters. I'm trying to figure out. Somewhere in there is good. We'll just start here. And get some soil sampling. So yes, I did get the whole field plowed. So it's all set to go on that stage. And now, like that we can see, we just need to go ahead and grab some soil samples. This may take a little longer than I would think. I know I'm overlapping a little bit at the start, but I'll get the hang of it here in just a second. Good thing about the soil sampling in precision farming, it does cover a lot of an area. I'm just a little nervous at how much lime slash fertilizer I'm going to need. And I haven't used precision farming enough to know how many seasons is this good for. So like if, when I drill, like we're drilling now and taking up soil samples, do I have to do it like after every three harvest and I have to take some more soil sampling to get a readout of what's going on with the land? Or is it going to be like set for, set for as long as you own the land? It's just the way it is. We shall find out here. And kind of the fun part of this, a lot of the stuff I am using on Wither Farms, but being since I'm kind of really role playing in that one, I can't really chat the way um, I can in this series about how things work, um, ask questions. So it's going to be a little bit more free on this series here. And as for making cash, I know some people have been trying to give me advice about how to make some cash. I'm not going to... I don't want to say cheat the money in. Uh, a couple suggestions were to buy fields, harvest the fields, and then, well, basically flip the fields. You know, buy the field, harvest it, then sell it, and uh, keep all the cash. But that we're not going to do it that way. Um, like I said, I only want. I think we got a three hundred thousand dollar loan. No, no, two, sorry, two million. Is it two million? I got three hundred thousand in my bank account, right? Is it? Uh, no, it is a three million dollar loan. The three hundred. Well, we had three hundred thousand dollars cash, and I bought some of this stuff. So we're going to do some contracts, obviously. But like right now, I said the contracts are all cultivating jobs, and none of them really pay. I think the highest paying one was like seven thousand. And if I were to lease the equipment, I would have to, you know, I, I would lose probably a couple thousand on it. So basically, I just make like four grand, cultivating the best price that we have right now. So I'm kind of waiting for the fertilizing contracts to come along because, well, we got the spreader. We got our dutes far here, ready to go. And this thing, like I said, has got like 750 horsepower. So um, should be able to cover just about anything. Um, another request I had for this series is, can I use an old tractor? I'm not really sure what you mean by an old tractor, uh, but I may use one. I think it's like a 1980s tractor, but um, I'll get back to you on that. Cause right now I don't have the cash to buy another tractor. I would like to have another tractor. Unless you call the, I would like to use a big bud on this map as well. So we may be getting ourselves a big bud, which is an old tractor. So, I mean, that may cover it in both ways. It's not going to take us long to get these soil samples after we send them in. I think it takes like a minute or two and it says, oh, your, your samples are analyzed and this is what we found. We also may do some logging on this map. Another good tip was to, since we're going to be here a few years, maybe plant some trees. Because I have talked about before, in seasons, I've never been able to plant trees. And I've never gone back to cut down trees I have planted in any series, in any way, shape, or form. I've, I've, we cut down many trees before. Uh, look at Green Mountain Forest, for sure. But... I've always, I've, I have planted some trees, but I've never been on the map long enough to where they grow and I go back and cut them down and make a profit off it. So we might do some of that as well. But right now the money is a little short. So we got to bring in the cash and it's going to be a while before I, I can do that. The only way I can bring in cash right now is to do contracts. 
The only field we got is this one right here. The grain from all these fields we will definitely be selling. That's for darn sure. But uh, we're going to need some fields for, obviously, I mean, we need to plant some cereal crop in because we're going to need straw for the cows. Uh, we're going to have a couple fields of corn for chaff so we can make silage out of it. And of course, the first couple of years, I don't need that many fields, but as we get closer to, you know, like 2,000 cattle, that's going to require a lot of straw. Um, and I don't, I don't know uh, how much chaff they're going to need in a year. Not chaff, but silage, TMR. So it's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, probably also have like a, a true grass field. The field across from us, yes, it's a grass field, but it's not a technically a field. So I cannot really like spread lime fertilizer on it so we'll have to have to figure it all out but right now we just need to bring in the cash so we can uh, buy more of the materials that we need like the uh, definitely i want to be able to put the manual feeder on here as soon as i can so look for us to be doing it and i may do a couple of fertilizing contracts off camera that's where we're going to send a lot of our cash to begin with We almost got our first field analyzed. I could have bought this machine, but since we only got one field, uh, there was no need to go ahead and buy this. This analyzer. In the future, like I said, when we do have more cash, maybe we'll buy it because I don't know if I got to do this every season. Or what, but we're gonna make sure we get this every inch covered of field number one. And before you know it, before I can um, get all settled here and get the slime spreader hooked back up to the dudes fire, I'm pretty sure our results will be in and I'm going to guess that we're probably going to go back down and refill it with some lime. Luckily the lime's not too expensive. So I'm thinking our first crop is probably going to be oats just because. And like I said, um, we're not going to have any other animals on, on this farm, no chickens, so no sense to make like uh, wheat or barley to save to feed the animals. No horses, none of that stuff. Alright, let's get rid of that map there. And that should be done, so if I go to fields and go to precision farming, we can see, yep, it's all soil samples taken. And is it why that got to hit? Uh, send soil samples for analyzing. All right. And pretty soon we're going to lose like four grand because, well, that's what it cost. Let's go ahead and fold that up. And I'm not going to be that realistic. I'm just going to go ahead and return the lease. I'm not going to actually drive down to the store. I'm just waiting for it to click on over I'm not gonna don't want to return it yet but I want to make sure we got our results in before I return it all right took this back up now so while we're waiting for our resu results in for the analyzing let's go ahead and throw down our silo bunker and I think I just heard a click so I could have been our silo bunkers uh, nope, silos right here. And where's the bunker that we're using? This one right in here. Now, someone else did mention that they were having a hard time placing a cow pasture on this map. And I will say this grass field over here is the terrain. So if you're, if you're on, so like where I am putting the bunker down, if it says this, the terrain cannot be deformed here. I am getting a lot of that, a lot of that over here in this grass field. And I did also when I was trying to place the cow bunker or down uh, the cow uh, area down. But this here, I did see you saw it green there for a second. I probably should have. How much is this going to cost me here? All right, forty-four. That's fine. Boom, place it on down. Hopefully, it's not that. Ooh, there is a little bit of a ramp here. Hmm. All right, uh, how much is it going to cost me in landscaping? Can I landscape this is the question. 
And it should be... Am I going to be able to do this? It's going to be allow me to landscape it. No, it will not. There's our soul sampling in. All right, I'm going to try to see if I can fix this uh, after recording. I do want the solid bunker to be right here because our TMR mixer is going to go in right here. So it actually goes in right here. You can kind of see the area that they leave the barn open for, for the automatic feeder to go in and back out. So that's where it's going to be placed. So it'll be good. I just got to bring a wheel bucket over, load it up, bring it over, dump it in there. That's the plan. But I may have to resell this. I'm going to try to flatten out the area maybe and get this so it looks nice and even. But um, I'll take care of that a little bit later. Let's come on back over here because our soul samples are in. And we should be able to see in our corner, pH value is terrible here. Terrible. And for some reason, that's not showing up. Oh, I know. There's a mod I forgot to add. Hang on a second. Let me go add that mod so we can kind of see this field info a little bit better. Well, since I exited the game, came back in, made sure that mod was activated, which it was. So I got to figure out why that uh, additional field information is kind of acting kind of strange. I decided to take care of the bunker silo while we're at it, so I did. I, I deleted the one we put down. Uh, gave my money back a little bit as well because, you know, you lose half the money when you sell something back. But now that looks a lot better. Kind of even here with the cow barn. So that's looking good. So each bunker will hold 300,000 liters so for a total of 900,000 liters. We are good to go. I need to paint the grass back in so that grows around looking nice. Uh, the back of this in the future, I'll probably make it look a little bit better. As for the additional field information, I'm not quite sure I know why it's not showing up the way that I think it should. But either way, um, we know it's going to need some lime and some fertilizer. So let's come on into our Dutes Fire Series 9. Let's go ahead and unfold that. And what we got to make sure is that um, we are in an automatic application rate. So... Yep, it's going to use what it needs and we may not be that far off already. It looks like maybe it's not showing because the pH level is already pretty darn good So we're about to find out here. Let's turn on the lime spreader And yep, not as wide as I thought it was going to be, but that's fine Try to do an aerial view of it So it looks like it's not going to take that much lime at all And yeah, we're hardly using any lime whatsoever so, I may not need to go ahead and refill this again. So, you can kind of see on the left-hand side where the HUD is, you can kind of see the check, um, uh, the checkered flag, I think, is the, where it wants to be at. And the line is kind of showing us where we are at when we go over it. So, we are not that far off whatsoever. We got some good soil around here. I think we got silty clay is uh, the definition of what we have here. So we're going to get a 100% yield off this field, at least we should. But now we got our sunker, uh, a sunker bilo, our bunker silo, but we are down to 100 grand. So starting to try to find some jobs that will pay decently. Like I said, when it comes time to fertilize, which will be probably late spring, I would assume. Um, our grass field, I guess I will call it our grass field, our grass meadow. Maybe I'll call it our grass meadow because it's not technically a field. It's, I guess it's going to be a meadow. Uh, we will mow that eventually, and I don't know what I want to do with it. Um, maybe I'll just use a loading wagon, pick up the grass, and we'll put it in our bunker, make some uh, some silage out of it. I don't know if I want to keep it. Like I said, I don't know exactly when we're going to get cows. I don't know if it'll be this season, or am I going to wait? But the sooner I get cows, the sooner they'll uh, start becoming pregnant, and then, of course, once they have their calf, they will go ahead and start producing milk later on. So we shall see here what I plan to do. Um, I mean, I have a rough idea, but like I said, nothing is set in stone here. But we got a lot of equipment still to buy. That's why I kind of went with this tractor here in a way that has 750 horsepower. I just need a tractor that can do just about anything I ask it to right from the start. So I don't need like three tractors. Like I said, I probably would like to have a big bud. Um, hopefully that tractor is considered your old tractor. I know someone said to use an older style tractor. And the big buds do go back quite a ways. 
because we do, I do, I want to need some big fields here, so, yep, we're going to need a big bud to, I mean, the big bud and the equipment we're going to use probably is a little bit too big for the fields that we have here to start with, but once I start merging some together, it'll all work out rather well. So the plan kind of is, at least in the long future, the fields around here that we buy around the farm will be the ones we plant corn in. Now, that will be for our chaff to make uh, um, silage. So obviously, you know, having it close to the farm is ideal because that way it's have to unload it to the bunker and we are good to go. As for other fields where we make straw in, our seal crop fields, those can be far away because I, I really don't know if I'm going to sell the crop right away, or, but that's why we got a silo to put crop in as well. It'll all come together. So the one thing about precision farming, sometimes you leave like little areas like this I may not spread any lime here because that section... No, I saw it. Sometimes a little space like that, precision farming can't see that it's there and it won't spread the lime down. So luckily for me, the first field that we got, yeah, the pH uh, level is pretty darn close to what we need. So I'm not, I'm not throwing lime out the back as quickly as it could. So I'm going to lease a... Uh, C drill for the first year because I'm not going to go ahead and buy one. Again, uh, money reasons. Sooner the better that I can get some of the grass stuff. So like the loading wagons going to be kind of crucial for us right away. That grass field is grass meadow. Sorry, grass meadow is kind of on the large side. So making making bales out of it. Hmm. Not my ideal choice. But then again, I'm just thinking as we go along here. And as the <laughs> for those of you who follow me long enough now, yeah, I can change my mind in a matter of a minute or two. But I probably will go ahead and throw down... Probably throw down Alien Jim's... Uh, seed and fertilizer huts right here at the farm so I have to keep going down down to the store and topping off with fertilizer because I don't want to buy to fill this up I have to buy what uh, like nine fertilizers to fill this up and those don't cost that much Try to get every little square inch that I can of the field. I'm not sure it's going to see that. Nope, doesn't see that little strip there. Question is, can I get the rest of the field done with the lime that I have? And probably not. I only have to make two more passes here. I might have enough lime to go ahead and get field number one complete. So I also was looking on before I started recording, like, we're going to bring a lot of cash in as well, and we own kind of the woods in front of us. And I'm like, oh, there's there's trees here I can go ahead and cut down. But those, yeah, those are, whew. yep, tree harvester's not going to want to cut those on down. Well, it'll cut, it'll cut them down, but it won't uh, chop them. Actually, no, they won't even cut them down. Yeah, those uh, trees right there will not cut down. I don't want to cut those down either because they'll look rather nice in the fall to have all those trees there to get all the color in. Well, that almost worked out perfectly for us for the amount of lime that I needed. So our pH level is perfect. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Fold that on up. I wonder if I get out of the car. I'm not really sure what's going on with the field info. It's not really quite showing. I'm trying to see if I fly up. Does that help us out a little bit at all? Yeah, for some reason it's kind of flickering down there. I'm not really sure why that's uh, doing what it's doing. How if I go into here anyways? Soil types. So here's our pH level. The pH level is looking, well, it's looking good everywhere. Nitrogen, um, not looking great at all. So it's going to take a lot of fertilizer. So that brings us to the other thing. Like my seed drill, I do not need to use fertilizer in my seed drill because... Yeah, I'm probably going to burn through it. We're just going to go ahead and spread the fertilizer down, and that should be in more than enough to cover what we need on it.
How much is actually a drill? Um, where are cedars? Right here. Let's come on down. What do we got here? It does fertilizer. The star is what I was kind of looking at. That's only 8 meters wide? Hmm. Thought that would be bigger than that. That drill is very wide. I don't need nothing that big. I need the air cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't afford that right off. I was thinking, eh, we, we can definitely pull it with this tractor. I don't want to say it only requires 600 horse. We got 750. That's good. But in the future, maybe uh, just for one field. Yeah. So I'll have, to look, I'll have to look to see what kind of drill I want to use. Like I said, the first year, probably just going to go ahead and lease one. Get this field planted as soon as we can. But the good news for us is the pH level is perfect for us. I'm just trying to see why the field info is acting like it is. I don't know what's doing that. Um, I got pretty much the same mods as I do on Wither Farms. And on Wither Farms, it doesn't do that with the field info. So I'm not quite sure why it's doing it here in Griffin, Indiana. I wonder if it has to do something with the terrain. Because like I said, placing down that cow pasture, I was trying to place it in a lot of areas in that grass field. And it said it can't uh, deform the terrain around there. So I'm not really sure why it's doing that. Okay, for now, let's go ahead. We're just going to bring this in on in here. And the question is, where do I want to put... You know what I do need, though, at some point, is a nice place to wash my vehicles. So, yep, yeah, we're going to spend a little bit of cash here. Things that we do need. Uh, yeah, let's go with the base game pressure washer. We don't need nothing really fancy here. Can I place it here somewhere, please? Collide with an object. What object are we colliding with? Not really sure. Well, I would like to put it there. Hmm. Because in the future, I want to put some sheds over here as well. Oh, I mean, I guess that will do. Where was it? I don't like it sticking out that far. You know, right there is pretty good. It's not too bad it's not too bad to have it here park our vehicles here we'll go ahead and give them a wash all right so there's one expense paid for uh let's go into is it under miscellaneous i don't remember where those are here there we go the uh seed hut and the fertilizing hut where should i put those he says well you know what we kind of got a thing going on here Do I want it over here? I'm thinking... Hmm. I don't know what to think. You know what? I don't want... Let's not, I'm not going to place those down. Let me think about that for a little bit. I think I need to figure out my... My farm area here a little bit better. And like I said in the episode one, the reason why I did not delete this shed, I wanted to start from scratch. Um, you can delete the shed. The problem is all this material that's in here stays. All these uh, things right here stay. You can pick up these barrels here. I think you can pick up the rack as well. But these shelves and this right here were not are non-movable. So I was like, all right, we'll go ahead and keep that shed there. I mean, I need a shed anyways, but uh, do I want to put the shed there? I don't know. Um, I would like to have other sheds over here. Once we get enough more, more material and more stuff to put in. Because that's the only area we have so far. And uh, yeah, so right now, like I said, it's all cultivating jobs. So I'm kind of waiting to see if we get some fertilizing jobs. I may not get fertilizing jobs maybe until the spring. I don't know how they're going to act with precision farming if this is going to change. But there's more jobs here than there were when I checked before I started recording anyways. But we got our silo bunker down, which is a good start. Um, we got our soil samples down in our field, our four field. We got the lime spread. Just got to spread down some fertilizer here pretty soon. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put the seed hut and fertilizer hut. 
Um, I'm not sure if I want to put it in here because that means every time I want to come in, you know, fill it up, I got to come into the main farm and go somewhere, which is not too bad of an idea, but you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll put them over here at the silo as well. Actually, let's come over here and take a quick look. I'll have a quick gander over here by our silo. Wouldn't be too bad. So this shed down here. Yeah, you cannot, I don't want to say delete the shed. I mean, I guess if you went to GE editor, you could. But that's not a shed that uh, you can sell. And there's our silo right there. I need to go ahead and make some roads in and out of here. How big are the gates down here? I wonder if our seed carts, those big seed carts, will get through the gates here. I'm pretty sure they will, I would think. But I think I'm just going to do a little bit more uh, thinking about where I want to put this stuff down instead of uh, putting it down later and regret, not regretting it, but wanting to change up. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to have a lot of lights around here as well. But yeah, I'm just trying to figure, figure this all out here. Maybe I'll put some sheds here. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. A lot of things to, to go, and um, I got some ideas in my head, but they're just floating around, and nothing is landing. I can't stick the landing on anything as of yet. So I need to think about a little bit more, just a little bit more. But hopefully next episode, the temperatures will rise up. We'll go ahead and plant some oats. Yeah, I think we're... No, that's the wrong button. Um, oats. The ground temperature needs to be 43. So is the ground temperature? It's at 45. So I might as well wait a couple days just to make sure... We'll plant the oats here pretty soon. Get the crop up and going. Like I said, we'll be leasing a lot of equipment the first year. Unless the cash goes up and I do a lot of jobs this summer and I can afford a harvester late in the season. I doubt it because the harvester I want to buy is going to cost quite a bit amount of money. I might as well buy the harvester I want right off the get-go instead of buying a harvester, using it for a year or two, selling it, then uh, upgrading to what we want. But um, pretty soon here, we'll also go ahead and cut the grass late spring maybe and start filling up the silo bunker i think this will do and i'll make some silage out of it where can i sell silage at here and what's the price is there there's one place i can sell it and that's rather cheap i wonder how much the bga is going to offer for it uh all right let's find out now like you said you know I, the bga would i buy it for what i want to buy it for no not so much uh, the question is, i got to be able to find the BGA here. Let me go see if I can find the BGA. And I'll bring you back pretty soon, hopefully. So, if you're on Griffin, Indiana, and you're looking for the BGA, it took me a minute to find it myself. We're down here at the BGA. It does have a nice little shed down here and a couple bunkers itself. But if you're looking for it, you have to go to the map. It's actually just EG Miles. So I got kind of curious. I'm like, okay, can is, are they buying uh, silage? And EG Miles is uh, right on down here. They will take uh, wood chips right off, but not silage because you have to own the BGA. So I was kind of curious, how much is the BGA area? It's 800000 So, yeah, I'm not quite sure I know what to do with our silage to start off from the grass field up there. I mean, I guess I could just go ahead and start prepping and making silage and keeping it for next season and maybe at some point we'll be able to afford the bga to sell silage or just cut the grass and keep making silage i don't know i have to figure it all out um by the way uh while i was down here looking around a train does go through here and you can ride the train um but there are no sell points for the train that i can see so it's kind of interesting um did not have a that long of a look but i didn't see no sell points for the train any choo is the choo-choo coming? No, it doesn't look like it's coming at all. So, you have to, if you're looking for the silo bunker, it's actually EG Miles, which is right on down here. And, of course, my main farm is right up here. Let's go back and visit the cows. But we got our own... Uh oh I'm stuck in the cow barn. All right, so don't teleport to the cow barn. Um, how about if I just teleport back to my vehicle? That'll, that'll work. All right, so... Like I said, um, we got our field pretty much all set. Just got to spread some fertilizer down onto it. We'll lease a drill and we'll get some oats planted into it. And sometime in the fall, we'll get our harvest down and start collecting some straw bales. Um, I am going to probably use the modded bale that I was using on the Pacific Northwest. Those bale That can make bales up to 20,000 liters. I just want a big, a, a big straw bale because it'll reduce the amount of bales I have to store. I'm going to try this to store bales in the shed down there. 
Uh, I don't want to store straw in the silo if I can help it. I want to kind of keep it somewhat realistic, but not too realistic, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, I mean, I could just pick up the straw with a loading wagon and throw it into the silo bunker, and then we can take care of our cows later on that way. But, um, you know, I may change my mind, my mind before fall comes around. Who knows? But we got ourselves a silo bunker. Feels done, like I said. Gone over that a couple of other times. Uh, we found the BGA, which is good. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll be buying that to sell our silage this year or not. I think we'll just have to wait till the end of the year see what we got. See what we got going. See how much grass they get off. I think someone told me they did mow this field here and they got 400,000 liters. I obviously would get a lot less because I got a cow pasture down and, of course, got a silo bunker down. So maybe 300,000 liters I get off this field right now, which would only fill up one bunker. So that means if I mow the grass twice this year, I fill up two bunkers. That's a good amount of silos to start with. So I, I would like to buy some cows, uh, like I said, the first year. I may not have the TMR mixer to the building yet, um, but at least we can feed our cows some silage. We should have some silage and, of course, water and all that. But, yeah, I need to do a little bit more thinking. Um, I wasn't expecting to start this series as soon as I did, uh, but here we are. And now I got another episode this Saturday, uh, if you're watching it live anyways. And I'm hoping next week I'll have two episodes a week of Griffin, Indiana. So look forward to that because you guys rocked the first episode pretty darn well. So, yeah, I just need to get my mind wrapped around this uh, series a little bit better. And I think episode three, uh, we'll have a good, at least I'll have a good uh, concrete foundation to go on of where we're going here. So uh, the episode should roll a little bit better. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Griffin, Indiana. But until then, have a good one.